is Mike Feinberg with the Fighting News. I'm standing here with TikTok star Corey B. How you, How you doing, doing Corey? Good, good, good. Good to see you, bud. TikTok star, but so much more than that. So much more than that. Right. Well, you know, that's how they know you. That's right? how they know but me, but yeah, yeah. Got yeah. a lot going on. What else is going on in your world? Oh, what, my world? Radio, TikTok videos, and I'm at the gym six days a week. Nice. Six days a week, three hours a day. Busy guy. Busy day, busy day. <laughs> I'm in there. I'm in sparring. Getting my nose broke a couple times. Learning my lessons and getting ready for what I got to do. Right, well, of course, you know we're standing with Corey because we got celebrity boxing coming up. Yes, we're at the press conference October second. You will be taking on two-time champion Paulie Malignaggi. Paulie Mala Meatball. Paulie Mala Bag. D Bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for that. I'm ready. I've never been more ready. I'm actually training with his old trainers. Okay. So I got a little inside information. Ah, so I'm, I'm ready okay. for it. I'm ready for it. I'm excited. You know, whatever that is, it's going to help you out, huh? Absolutely. See, here's the thing is I got all the research and all the video and all the insight on Polly. Polly don't got shit on me. Polly has. Polly thinks I'm some guy that do t does TikTok dances. That's not me. That's not me. He doesn't know that I'm an athlete and I've been an athlete all my life. And when I put my head to something, when I put my mind on something, that's it. When you tell me I can't do it, I I'm going to do it. All right. So. So without giving too much away, I mean, do you find yourself to be more of a boxer or a brawler? What's your... I, I like to get inside. And probably, probably don't do good inside. He doesn't do well inside. He's gonna try to hit the jab, try to keep me away from the jab, but he doesn't have a right hand, so all I gotta do is come in, hit the gut. I'll be all right, I'll be all right. Just tell me how this whole thing started. Obviously you guys had some beef with each other. So there was a slapping incident that went on. Tell me what happened. It started when I was on the radio talking about how I started boxing. I started boxing for fitness. He heard the radio show, because it's on. It's in Miami. He called up the show and said, you should stop boxing, you're bad for the sport, you're a minivan mom boxer, all this bullshit, told me that I'm afraid of him, and so when I saw him, I slapped him in the back of the neck, and it just snowballed from there. And it's, it's one thing you're not gonna do is tell me I can't do something, because that's gonna make me wanna do it. I would've been in the gym just doing this for fitness, but he had to run his mouth, and now I'm like, I'm ready. Now I'm sparring three times a week, so I'm ready. What's the game plan going in here? Game plan is just to look pretty and make him look dumb. The game plan is just to make him look silly. He does that. He does that well enough by himself, but uh, but you know, I mean, it's gonna be it's, people are gonna be shocked. When you put the time and effort and the heart into something, you're gonna prevail. So lots well, of everybody's curious about. Obviously, we know Paulie's been around the game for a really long time. He's had plenty, plenty of fights. Yeah. Um, you know, you're coming in there. You haven't fought professionally before, so no, 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 just you know, I mean, what's what, again? The game plan is just like you said. The game plan is the, the game plan is to do research, watch all his fights. I've got the right sparring partners. One of my sparring partners is a 17-1 professional that's fighting for a belt in September. So I, I, I'm being smart. I'm training at Gleason's, which is a world-famous boxing gym in Brooklyn. My trainer is Hector Roca, who is a world-famous world, world famous, uh, trainer. He trained Arturo Gatti. He worked with Camacho a little bit. He's got 21 world champions under his belt. He's got me in there working. And if he can see faith in me and not give up on me, then that's all I, that's all I need. Great. No, we're looking forward to the fight, looking forward to the event itself. It's been long talked about. Yeah. We're still quite a while out, but... Uh, That's right. We got, more, we got more time. Time's on my side right now. You got so. a lot of time to train and get yourself ready for sure. So, great. Hey, Corey, great meeting with you. as well. Pleasure. Right, Take Have care. Good luck.